Hi, I'm Don Albright, uh, a local San Diego geologist, uh, sitting here with my foot in a hole, uh, about the right size hole uh, probably in San Diego to plant a tree. Uh, have you ever tried to uh, dig a hole in your backyard uh, through this stuff, plant a tree and discover that the formation in the backyard is like concrete embedded with uh, big round rocks? If so, uh, you're not alone because this hard pan formation covers most of the backyards in San Diego. So I'm sitting here today in the in the middle of the Linda Vista Formation, a, a marine formation, the more recent uh, marine formation in San Diego, found as a hard pan cap on most of the wave cut wave belt marine terraces that make up our city mesas in San Diego. Uh, it's a formation that was deposited in the middle of the Ice Age uh, when this area was beneath the sea. Uh, the sea level left all this when the sea retreated and the uh, land uplifted. Uh, the, this very hard pan Linda Vista formation uh, also gives a problem to builders in San Diego. It's uh, considered an expansive soil. It will move when it is wet in contrast with the hard appearing stuff that it is when it's dry. It's also uh, very impermeable to water. Uh, as you can see, if it were to rain on this, the water would rush right down through this little drainage course. And uh, so water has difficulty soaking in. And so the vegetation in an area where there's a lot of this hard pan is rather thin and uh, rather desert-like, uh, like you see here in the background. Water will often pond up uh, and stay there well into spring and into early summer because of the difficulty of percolating downward. Uh, thus our vernal pools. Uh, the vernal pools, you know, make uh, for a very unique habitat in the San Diego area. Almost everything that lives on in and around our vernal pools is an endangered species. Because unfortunately our vernal pools are disappearing with the more and more acres of land in San Diego being graded away for subdivision. Uh, these cobbles are much older than the formation, which was already mentioned to be about uh, half a million years old, 500,000 years old. These cobbles are Eocene in age. Uh, that's uh, more like a, a 20 to 30 million years ago. Uh, they're also very rounded, uh, rounded not from the sea, uh, but from river action. They were washed down uh, a very large subtropical river uh, that found its way down to a coast uh, where San Diego is today was the coast. Uh, it was the delta of a very large tropical river uh, connected to Sonora, Mexico. And uh, then after the deposition of these cobbles in that large Eocene River Delta. The Delta itself spit away from the river along the San Andreas Fault, which uh, developed around uh, 15 million years ago. And uh, California has since shifted in latitude uh, the distance from the mouth of the Sonoran River to where we are today at 32 degrees north latitude. Uh, we know that that's true because these rock types uh, found among the cobblestones are very foreign to any parent rock type up in our local mountains. Uh, these are primarily lava rocks, or a geologist would say extrusive igneous rocks, I meaning they were spewing out of a volcano, spilling out across a continent rather than a seafloor, here to be eroded and broken up and carried down the river, deposited in the delta. Uh, there are many kind of purplish and reddish ones. Uh, those are the rhyolites. Brown is also rhyolite. Uh, the light ones are dacite, and among them there are also quartzites, which is a metamorphic rock rather than extrusive igneous rock, but all of them very water-rounded. The quartzites, by the way, are the oldest rock that one could find in the San Diego area. They're Precambrian in age. That means over a billion years old. These are between one and two billion years of age on stuff that's uh, undisturbed Linda Vista formation. It's cobbles embedded in a, a very, very hard-packed, uh, hard-cemented sandstone. But behind me on that little bank uh, are cobblestones embedded in loose reddish sand. Now uh, that's not part of the Linda Vista formation. That's a later alluvial soil uh, formed by erosion late in the Pleistocene after this part of Sandy uplifted. Erosion took its toll on the Linda Vista uh, eroded many cobbles out and redeposited them in alluvial soil uh, by rain wash and erosion here in the area. Interesting thing about that uh, alluvial soil that goes with the Linda Vista, by the way there's a name for that, it's called the co-alluvial soil uh, to the Linda Vista formation. The unusual thing about it is the color of the red sand that 
uh, those cobbles are embedded in. It's that red lateritic soil that's typical to tropical and subtropical regions. And that would tell a, a geographer, or one who studies climates, that the climate here in San Diego during the late Ice Age was much warmer and hotter than it is today uh, for that red lateritic soil to be present uh, here in, around Lake Murray. Because this hard pan formation covers most of the backyards in San Diego, uh, it's the uppermost formation on our green terraces that make up most of our city. Yeah.